Hi, I'm Kristen Smith-Hilton, and I am a global fashion stylist and beauty expert. I have worked in all types of situations with many different clients, from women to men, but when it comes to women, the number one thing they want to know about is high heels. So we're going to talk a little bit about the history and the construction of the high heel. It is rumored that Leonardo da Vinci invented the high heel, but he is given credit for inventing many things. So I'm going to borrow a quote from the great Marilyn Monroe, who said, I don't know who invented the high heel, but a lot of women owe him a very big thank you. Marilyn Monroe is notorious for the way that she would walk in high heels and the attraction that it would provide for her. But one little known secret is that she had her shoes a half inch difference in each heel for that infamous wiggle. So we can thank her for that. Um, it is also rumored that men and women both use them. And if you look back over time, not only for their height appeal, but also their charm, many, many people have worn heels, from kings, queens, uh, right down to everyday wear. We're going to talk about the shoes that you should be wearing. You need to do it based on size, fit, color, and what fits your lifestyle. High heels are not just evening wear. Many people go and only wear them out to wear. You can, you've got to be adventurous. Wear them with jeans, wear them with skirts of all lengths, even wear them with your pajamas. They are an everyday shoe. They range from two inches, which is really kind of a yawn, to a three and a half inch, which is a good day shoe. Four inch, you're getting a little sassier, and five inch is for the real pro, which all of you can become. Now when you pick a shoe, the most important thing that you must do is always have your feet groomed and pedicured. It doesn't have to be expensive. You can do it at home, but they should be freshly cleaned and painted before you ever try on a shoe. Trying on your shoes is very important because everybody's foot is slightly different and every designer makes a different size and a different style. So what you may be the right a size six in one designer, you may be up to a size seven in another. So never send a loved one out to buy your shoes. Though it may be in their heart to give them to you, it is best for you to go on this adventure alone. Keeping in mind the many places that they will go, the adventures that you will have. And very much like Cinderella, be prepared to be transformed, depending on the shoe that you wear. You will go from work to play to having the time of your life and you will not turn into a pumpkin if you kick it up to the big girl shoes five inches and above. Now the material that you see shoes made out of has gone everywhere from Cinderella's rumored glass slipper to now fur, metal studs, all types of leathers. One thing to keep in mind when choosing a shoe is to tap in your inner meteorologist. What is the weather going to be? What can I wear? If it's going to be any rainy, any inclement weather, you need to avoid the satin, the suede, and the pale colors. Uh, the history of the hill is timeless. I will give you three little, little tips as we end this segment. There is this patron saint of shoes is Saint Crispin. So we can all thank him every day for watching over our shoe designers, the manufacturers, and of course, the women who wear them. So stay stylish and find the high heel that fits your style.